of the press. This week, the symbol of Caduceus. This is United Press correspondent Walter Cronkite reporting from somewhere on the Western Front on the symbol of Caduceus. What is Caduceus? Well, let's put it like this. The ancient emblem of Caduceus has been the insignia of doctors for more than 2,000 years. It consists of a staff entwined by two serpents, signifying presumably the eternal struggle between life and death. And its significance stands out more than ever today on the Western Front, where the gallant army nurses, the ladies of Caduceus, administer to the sick, the wounded, the dying. I was with them a few days before the fateful German offensive on the Belgian front. You know, O'Leary, there's one thing about being stationed at a frontline hospital. Yeah, you don't have to worry about how to pass the time. Personally, I'd like to pass some time in Paris. Funny, isn't it, Jamison? This time last year, I was home in Mississippi, going to dances, wearing pretty clothes, soft perfume. Listen to Preston. <laughs> so you were dancing. So you joined the Army Nurse Corps. Now you're wading in mud. Why don't you stop talking about Mississippi? What's wrong with Mississippi? Look at me. Look at all of us. Itchy woolen shirts, sticky slacks, D.I. boots. Oh, huh. so what? I suppose you think a new spring straw would look better up here than that steel helmet? Oh, don't let a little thing like a spring hat worry you, Preston, or dancers either, for that matter. The only music we're going to be hearing for a long time is those big guns up there. Not exactly a swing version either. Well, I don't care what it is. I sure could stand a furlough in Paris. My, my. That reminds me. The colonel promised us he'd... Shh. Here he comes now with Walter Conkite. Now, girls, better check those bandages. Be sure about the morphine supply. One more thing. Are uh, you still at it, huh, Lieutenant? Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. You all know Walter Cronkite of United Press? Yes, yes. sure. Hello. <laughs> Hello, Jameson, O'Leary, Preston. Taking things kind of easy, aren't you, for a change? It's the first breathing spell we've had for some time. We sent the last group of wounded out this morning. Yes, and a fine job you've all been doing. All of you. Thank, Thank, Thank you, sir. Colonel. Now, I don't want to make any promises, but if nothing happens in the next few days, you'll all get a furlough to Paris. Paris? Mama. I'm going to get a permanent. <laughs> what about you, O'Leary? <laughs> Me? I think I'll sleep in a hotel for a change. Well, I think I'll take a look around the surgical ward. You coming, Cronkite? No, thanks, Colonel. I'll stick around for a while. All right, suit yourself. See you all later. Goodbye, yes, Colonel. Sir. What do you think of that, Mr. Cronkite? We're going to Paris. First time, isn't it? Oh, we passed through there on the way to the front. That's right, just pass through. Well, that calls for a story. Now, suppose we start with... Listen, that don't sound like us. No, Germans. Ho, hum, ho, hum, nothing. Listen, you better get the colonel. Watch the patient, everybody. Hurry! got his hands full in the operating room. Not there, boys. Take him over in the west wing. Okay, Lieutenant. How's your ward holding up, Jameson? We lost two this morning. Here come some more. Where do you want him, Lieutenant? In the rear, straight back. Jameson, give him a hand, will you? Sure. This way, boys. Uh, oh, uh, easy there, soldier. You'll uh, be all right. Sure I will, cutie. Anybody ever call you cutie? Sure. Why not? Corporal. Send back immediately for all the blood plasma you can get. Morphine, too. They're coming in too fast for us to handle. Oh, there you are, Lieutenant O'Leary. Colonel, we need more space. Yeah, we need lots of things. Now, just remember, we can't risk any unnecessary alarm. Keep everybody as calm as you can. Looks like an all-out German offensive. Yes, sir. Colonel, I what about... I can't talk anymore now, O'Leary. I need you in the operating room at once.
Where is that plasma? Uh, Hurry it up, boys. Put them over there. Okay, Lieutenant. Come on, fellas. Easy, guys. Oh, Larry. Yes, Preston. What is it? Yeah, boy, with the leg. You better take a look. Okay. You stay here and handle the incoming. My leg. My leg. Nurse. Hello, Bill. How's my favorite patient today? Hiya, cutie. I... Something I can do for you, Bill. Yeah. You see these pictures here? My girl. Letters. I want you to... Send them home. What do you mean, send them home? You'll be back up in a few days. <laughs> Don't kid me, cutie. I know better. Take them, please. All right, Bill. Thanks. I feel better already. You don't mind me calling you cutie, do you? Confidentially, Bill. I like it. Thanks. Will you read this to me? It's... Sure. My mother gave it to me, you know. And I foresaw the Lord before my face. For he is my right hand, and I shall not be moved. Therefore did my heart rejoice, and my tongue was glad. Because my flesh shall rest in hope. Thou wilt. Not Jameson! Jameson! What is it, old man? Get some whole blood, quick! Bill! Is he? Whole blood, quick! Right away! They're coming up, Colonel. Yes, Cronkite. Gotta move. Move quick. Come on. We need you. That boy over there, Bill. No time for that, Lieutenant. I have orders to evacuate this place at once. No. That's right, O'Leary. The Germans are on the edge of town. But that boy over there. All right, I'll see him. Let's go. Uh, my leg. How is he, Preston? Not so good. Bill, the Colonel's here to see you. And Walter Cronkite, United Press. Listen, cutie, I, I heard what the Colonel said. Don't worry about me. How are you feeling, Bill? Get these nurses out of here, sir. Quick. Call everybody. Lieutenant, get the nurses together at once. Germans are in town. You ain't got much time, cute. True to his promise, the colonel did not leave one single patient behind. And during that enemy offensive, not a wounded GI was lost to the Germans. Most of the credit goes to those nurses, the ladies of Caduceus, working night and day... Their jaws set, their eyes red-rimmed from lack of sleep. These girls transferred their hospital base six times before the enemy offensive was finally checked. And when it was over, the colonel told me... Those nurses, Cronkite, they're heroes. And I want the United Press to tell the folks back home that they were terrific. Tell them we need more nurses like them. And we need them fast. I'll tell them, colonel. I'll tell them. <laughs> to United Press correspondent Walter Cronkite's story of the symbol of Caduceus, the saga of U.S. Army nurses. Cronkite is one of many United Press correspondents who gather and write the news of world-shaking events as they happen. We will bring you another transcribed program dramatizing the experience of these soldiers of the press in the near future. Be sure to listen. Meanwhile, listen for United Press news on the air. Look for United Press dispatches in your favorite newspaper. They are your guarantee of the world's best coverage of the world's biggest news.